Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Peter Rare. Today we're making the Pirates of the Caribbean cocktail. As I mentioned last week, this is going to be my very first Pirates of the Caribbean cocktail that I made on Command Cocktails back last November. Now, this is actually something that I designed on the fly while I was at this place. You look at the Blackbeard, he had that sitting there. I was like, man, eh, why not make a Blackbeard Pirates of the Caribbean cocktail? I didn't exactly know what I wanted to make it or call it back then, so I just figured Pirates of the Caribbean. It's made like Blackbeard. Including the smoke, a little extra smoke with some smoke bitters, and the blood of his enemies, and whiskey for more smoky flavor. It's a very flavorful cocktail. It's something that was unique when I put everything together. I was actually really surprised how it came out, and everybody that tried it was the same way. It's a good drink, but let's show you how I make it. Now, this is actually going to be a shake and strain. I was saying I'm almost out of black beer. This is actually a really good spice rum if you ever had a chance to try it. It's actually not even that expensive. I think I paid maybe for this big bottle about 23, 24 bucks. So it's not bad. We're gonna take one ounce of that. You want to take half ounce of your whiskey. Now, the original recipe I used Jameson because Jameson is one of the best whiskeys out there. I figured why not because it has a nice smoky flavor. I don't have Jameson, I have Super 7. Still just as good. You want to take a half ounce of your Vonovich tobacco vodka which is very, very potent smelling. To, oh yeah, that's strong. Um, with this stuff, it doesn't taste bad, but it lingers. It's just like if you have a, you live with a smoker and they leave their ashtray just sitting down in the open, the whole house is gonna smell like it. It's potent. And then you want to take a splash grenadine the blood of his enemies. Really gotta clean this bottle. One bad thing about granny, it's sticky as hell. Then you wanna take four ounces of your pineapple juice. Then five drops of your smoke gets in your bitters. Bitters, old men. Bitters. Yeah, try saying that many, that many times. It's a lot of bitters. Yeah, then you, anyone just shake it up. Myself with that one. Strain it. This is really frothy. That's one thing I noticed when I made it the first time. It was very frothy. But good. There you have it. The original Pirates of the Caribbean cocktail. It's definitely going to be a very smoky flavored cocktail. You're going to have a lot of the different smoke notes, obviously from the bitters and definitely from the Vonovich tobacco. The whiskey is also going to bring a little bit of that smoky flavor in there. And you got the aged rum that's in the oak barrels. That's also going to give it a little bit of flavor. Let's see how it tastes. It's actually really good. It has a, a nice smoky flavor. You can definitely taste that. It's sweet. The tobacco vodka works really good in this cocktail. It adds a little bit of a sweetness, but a lot of that smoky flavor to it. 
and the pile just acts perfect. It's actually really good, and you don't really get much from the bitters. It's, you get a little bit of that smoke flavor, but not a really potent amount. But you're getting a lot of the rum, the sweet, vanilla, caramel notes that you get with that rum. And you're getting a lot of the pineapple juice flavor. So it's actually a very flavorful cocktail, a very sweet cocktail. You get a lot of that tobacco flavor in there, which is actually goes really well in the cocktails, which is surprising. But it's definitely a good drink. And I definitely suggest you try this out. Check out the past recipes we had last week with the other Pirates of the Caribbean where I made all four movies into a cocktail. They're all really good. It's definitely something I suggest you try out, especially the shooter. It's very good using vanilla liqueur. But I hope you like this. And like us on Facebook, the Consulate Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. Visit our Patreon account. Donate as much as you can. Help us out. Visit us on Twitter. Any other venue we have. But as always, drink responsibly.